Coming up on Winning Bets, let's recap yesterday, show our pick'em standings, and roll out two more bets. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Jason Mattis with Winning Bets. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. Let's jump right on into it and update yesterday's results. As you can see, we went 2-0 yesterday. Boom, putting 1.52 units in your pocket. That's right, we got that Chelsea money line. That was a nice win. And if you didn't play the Chelsea money line, because as we talked about on yesterday's show, if you waited to Monday to buy it, I recommended doing the Chelsea money line plus over 1.5. That also cashed as there was four goals in that game total. So whichever way you played that game, you were putting money in your pocket. And actually, if you played it with the over, you actually got a little bit more money in your pocket because the money line alone was minus 150. The parlay was at minus 129. I ended up looking that up after the show. So just a real good cash there. And then we continue that winning on into the nightcap. We got the Philly Marlins over 6.5. And then the Braves Orioles over 7.5. Neither one of those were a real sweat. The Marlins, I think, was over. I think that bet was over in the seventh inning. And then the Orioles Braves, that bet was over in the third inning. The Orioles put up a nine spot there in the third inning, so completely made that a non-sweat. So just a good job, guys. Starting off the week 2-0. Congratulations for putting money in your pocket. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead now and let me move this stuff here. Let's update the pick em standings here real quick. Let me throw up the – this is the straight group. All you got to do is pick a winner. You can see right there, no real separation. You got a guy – you got a couple people there in 12. You got, you know, some of there in 8. And then you, got, you can obviously see myself right there. I'm highlighted. I've got 9, so I've got right there. My brother sneaks in one above me. He's VTU mouth. He's right up there at 10, so good for him. Uh, yeah, every just, just you know, just a tight, real contest. Let me throw up now the spread. Let's throw that up. Okay, there we go. We got that. Look at that guy. Somebody went 15 and one. That is unreal. I hope he was also putting down some real money as opposed to just playing this free contest here where I'm giving away a hundred dollars total. Because my man, 15 and one, that is super, super impressive. I believe I know who that guy is based on it saying the crew 34. Pretty sure I know who that guy is. He's obviously one of our followers here on Winning Bets, both on the uh, YouTube side and also on the Twitter side. So I'm pretty sure I know who that guy is. Absolutely outstanding. Again, you know, these standings, these will absolutely yo-yo. The NFL is really, really tough. So you you may be in, you know, last place now. You'll rock it right up maybe in the first place here in a few weeks. I've put up weeks where I've only gotten four and five right. I mean, that's just how tough it is getting the NFL spreads right. So good overall contest. 15 there, the leader. Seven's ringing up the rear, but a lot of people there in the middle. And a long, long season to go. So we'll update those standings every Tuesday where everybody's off to a good start. Congratulations, everybody. All right, let's jump on into it now. I've got two bets for you today. The first one takes us to League One. It's Montpellier versus Lyon. Look, the last four, the, the four of the last five games that played between these two teams, head to head wise, both teams scored. Montpellier, Montpellier, they have scored and conceded in both of their games so far this season. These two teams are seventh and eighth in the standings last year, so pretty much even teams. I like though how Lyon is a little bit of a better team when they're on the road here. So, you know, I, I like their chances of getting a goal. The home team there, there are fans at this game now, limited capacity, but there are fans there. This is just really a gut feel, guys. I'm running good right now. I am my last, let's see, I am 13, 11 and 4 in my last, that would be my, in my last 15. So yeah, I'm 11 and four in my last 15 picks. Cal at 12 and four, if you want to add that Chelsea over 1.5, it'd be 12 and four in my last pick. I'm running good. I'm feeling good. Confidence is high. I just feel that this is a both teams to score in this situation. And that's going to be the bet there, minus at 130. So Montpellier versus Lyon, both teams to score. Yes, comes in at minus 130. All right, our, our last bet of the day takes us to Royals versus Tigers. We got Boyd on the mound versus Duffy. You guys know about Boyd. We've talked about Boyd. We know how Boyd absolutely struggles. We've made a lot of money off Boyd so far this season, but then he did burn us twice recently. You guys recall he went back-to-back -back starts against the Twins and actually pitched really well in those games. So then his next start, I was here on the YouTube show here talking. I said, let's just back off Boyd real quick. He's burned us twice in a row. Let's just back off have him regress back to his really terrible form, and then we'll jump on him next time. That's exactly what he did. We backed off. He played the Brewers, three innings pitched, seven runs, threw up an absolute stinker in that game like he generally always does. And we know the Brewers are one of the worst-hitting teams. I've got to show you guys the stats. 
They've appeared in the bottom 10 offenses now three weeks in a row. So it's not like this Brewers team, you know, is some great offensive team that got to Boyd. No, one of the worst offenses in Major League Baseball, and it's really not even close. They're really, really bad. So I'm going to jump back on Boyd here. Look, like I said, we got off of him once. Let's jump back on him. Let's say maybe Boyd has a good game, but I just can't quite see it. Look at these Tigers bullpen stats. Ks per 9, 27th in the league. ERA, 26th. FIP, 24th. Whip, 18th. On Opponent's batting average is 27th. So not only do you get a really, really terrible starter on the mound, you get a really, really bad bullpen to go, to go with it. <clears throat> I will tell you guys, I was a little torn here between money line and team total. And what eventually led me one way or the other is Royals have Duffy on the mound. He is not good in his own right. He's not as bad as Boyd, but then again, that's not really saying that much. You really got to look pretty hard to find a pitcher worse than Boyd. That's how really bad Boyd is. Man, he's terrible. So, but the thing that scares me about Duffy is he's not really that good in his own right. So the Tigers may be able to get to him. So just the money line really, really made me nervous. I don't have confidence in Duffy at all to quiet down the Tigers' bats. I'm going team total over here. And I think the deciding factor was money line was at minus 103. Royals team total over 4.5 is at plus 115. I really like that plus number right there. Makes it so you can go one and one today and still have a positive day. But overall, I just like making plus money bets if I have the opportunity. Really bad starter, really bad bullpen. Those were the starting factors largely in part. Royals team total over 4.5, and that comes in at plus 115. So two bets today, Montpellier, Lyon, both teams to score, yes, minus 130. Royals team total over 4.5 coming at a plus 115. Go ahead and like this video, guys. If you were part of yesterday's 2-0 sweep, if I put 1.52 units in your pocket yesterday, boom, go ahead and like this video. And if you're going to tail me on one of these two picks, like it again. Tell your friends I'm running hot. I want to put money in your pocket. We'll see you back here tomorrow, guys. We'll recap it and put some more bets out there. I'm Jason Mattis. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.